Welcome everybody to Cloud Innovators Live for Telecommunications. I'm Brian Krasik, Head of Product Marketing for Telecommunications at Google Cloud. I have with me today Hisham, the CIO of TELUS. Hisham, welcome and could you introduce yourself a little bit? Yes, thank you Brian. Um, so I'm Hisham Fahmi, CIO of TELUS. And I have the uh, privilege really of supporting all the teams within TELUS that uh, all the engineering teams that build all our great customer experiences. So this is all the way from you know, front end digital experiences, uh, you know, mobile apps, web apps, all the way to our back office systems that support you know, network provisioning and the services, et cetera. Well, H Hisham, that's a huge responsibility. Yes. And you know, customers are paramount, I know, at TELUS and, and treating them right. And um, there's a little topic that comes up all the time. It's called generative AI. <laughs> how can you avoid it these days? How can you avoid it? But yes. how can you implement it? How can you learn about it? What are you guys thinking about Gen AI and how it could help you? Uh, well, I think first, first we, we believe Gen AI has to be part of our strategy and we're leaning in very heavily. And, and if you think about it, this is technology, uh, there's a lot of fads that come and go. And there's a lot of technologies that are almost technology looking for a you know, problem to solve. Um, whereas this is one that actually has immediate use right away. And, and I think it can really be profound. And, and we look at it, and I look at it personally, I mean, this could be as profound as the, you know, the internet and what the internet did and how that created a whole new economy and value streams. Um, so we look at it that way. Um, what we also look at it too, like one of TELUS's purposes is we want to bridge the digital divide. And how do we you know, democratize everything and democratize access to technology, connectivity. And when you think what generative AI can do, when it really reaches its full potential, you could almost think that every human being could almost have a personalized digital assistant. So think of it, you know, every child could have a personal tutor that has the same body of knowledge that's equal, but now it's a tutor that's, that's personalized to you, to what you need and your strengths and weakness. Think of every knowledge worker, and every knowledge worker could have their own personalized assistant, and, and that's tailored to them, and what that can do and how empowering that can be for humanity. It starts to level the playing field exactly, too, doesn't it? Exactly. I mean, that's, that's one of the things. Exactly. Knowledge is power. Exactly. So leveling the playing field and making that available. Exactly. So how are you going to do that internal to your company first and then external for your customers? It's, yeah. you know, there's, there's that yin and yang too. Yeah, so, uh, so you know, great question. And, and that's the strategy we took, which is like, how do we start internally? And making that level the playing field for all our internal team members. So one of the things we've done is we've actually built an internally accessible, almost like a safe sandbox that's available for any TELUS employee. Like there's no special access to it, everything. It's available internally and it's, it's, you can use it and, and we're encouraging uh -huh. people to use it. So we're seeing so many different use cases that are organically happening. So, so we've got a, you know, a dedicated Gen AI team that's working on you know, fleshed out use cases that we have a business case around and everything, but we've also got this groundswell of organic wow. ideas are happening. And here we're seeing interesting things where marketing folks are using a different way, legal teams are using a different way, procurement, and they're just coming with their own ideas, but it's because they have access to the sandbox that they can play with and trust it and, and know that um, you know, we won't have any risks of sort of privacy leaks or breaches and stuff like that, but, but they can use it at its full potential. And that's so, kind of, we're leaning in and learning from it and learning, you know, what are the strengths and weaknesses and the risks? And that helps us now build the right guardrails to say, when do we expose it to our own customers? Externally? Well, that's, that's a fabulous way of doing it too. Yeah. And so I think people would be interested to hear, how do you set up that structure? How do you, you know, it's good to say a sandbox. What do you have around it? How are people supporting it? What is your team doing? Are you exposing it through, you know, different mechanisms? Do you have those specific projects with different groups internally? And then what are some of those core ones you're doing externally? Yeah, so, so again, great question. I think it starts first by creating um, the right technology, yeah. um, but, but then hiding that technology, the complexity of technology from everybody. And so, you know, the first thing you want to do is how do you create almost a wall garden where it's safe, it's within TELUS bounds, so that anything happens stays within TELUS, and so if there's any blast radius or anything, it's all contained within, right? And so this is where we partner with Google and Vertex AI, model gardens, and, and so we've created this environment to a TELUS team member, it looks like they're just hitting an internal website, right? Which is their own, you know, GPT kind of website where they can go query and upload documents and query them or generate images. Yep. But it's all built on this, you know, sandboxed environment that we have very good control of, right? That we know what's happening in there. We can, we can see how people are using it. We can use that as feedback even for us. Okay, what's, what's working, what's not working and use that as, as a, an experimentation ground. So you're